Hey, how many of you guys are going back and forth to your uh, supervisor, your boss's office every week, asking for a raise? You try to think of different ways to approach them to say, hey, listen, you know, I really need this money and everything. Sometimes you came in an almost threatening manner where you're just like, hey, listen, I might have to do something else if you guys can't work something out. And you leave out frustrated because you really do like your job. You're comfortable with it. You're in a good situation and everything like that. And you're not necessarily the most excited about doing uh, leaving the company doing something new, uh, I'm here to tell you, you're never going to get that raise. You want to know why? Because that boss, your boss, your supervisor knows you're not going to do a damn thing. They know that you're either too afraid, too comfortable, or just they may just look at you like, hey, what else are they going to do? And they're never going to give you what you want. And you simply just got to make a decision what you're going to put, get, uh, put up with. It's a very, very uncomfortable position to be in because we always want to feel like I do a, a good job. I kind of work on time. I'm there before everything starts. You know, you don't have any kind of negative re or reports from me, anything like that. So I should be rewarded from it. It should be based on merit. But that's not how the world works. And like I say, again, if a person felt that you were an asset that could actually help them grow or do any other thing that could make them money or anything like that, they will pay you accordingly. They don't think that of you. Right. Or they just feel like, hey, you ain't got enough in you to leave. So you just got to make that decision that you feel enough about yourself. You're so tired of the situation that you will leave. And if you won't, stop complaining because you end up giving yourself a stroke. Okay? And again, just whining and complaining don't change nothing. All things that's going to change things in your life is you. Okay? Hey, just take, that, uh, uh, take the challenge to do that. If not, just live with it. Again, this is Deontay Burton, host of Change the Lives. I want you guys to make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, Change the Lives, hosted by yours truly, Deontay Burton. We'll be talking about motivation, personal development, professional development, a lot of great information on the YouTube channel. Most importantly, I want you guys to hit that blue man in the bottom right-hand corner. Take care.